Hi guys, welcome back. It's Megan and I'm so excited to see you on this Saturday morning. Today we are going to discuss what we talked about on Tuesday. And what we talked about on Tuesday came to us from 1 Samuel 15, 1 through 22, and it's about how we obey God's commands. Through the prophet Samuel, God gave specific commands to King Saul. Saul ignored God and chose to do things his own way. And even though Saul was the king of Israel, he still should have followed God because God is the ultimate authority. God rejected Saul as king of Israel for his disobedience. We did have a key memory verse that we're working on for the month of November. It's brand new to us and I do challenge you guys to try to memorize this verse. It's a good one to hold on to. It's from Romans 13 verse 1 and it says, Submit to governing authorities for all authority is from God. Now for younger ones, it might be easier just to remember the first part of that verse. So Romans 13, 1, submit to governing authorities. I do have a couple questions you guys can ask your children this week. The first one is, why do you think God gave us commands? And the second one is, what's easy or hard about obeying God's commands? This is a great way to get them thinking about obedience and why it's important to obey God and a great way to get them to engage in the story that we talked about on Tuesday. We have a couple challenges for you guys to do with your family this week with your children and the first one is obey God's commands to honor your parents by doing something nice for them. For example, you could take out the trash, clean up your toys after you play with them, or give your parents a gift or give them a compliment to say how much you appreciate them. Our second challenge for your kids this week is to obey God's commands to submit to governing authorities. Whenever you're tempted to complain about doing something, give the person who asked you to do it a salute and obey that authority. And the third challenge for you guys this week is with one of your parents, read the Ten Commandments in Exodus 20 verses 1 through 7 and choose one specific commandment and discuss how obeying the commandment pleases God. And we do have two activities for you to do as a family this week. The first one is called All Mixed Up and the only things you're going to need are a pen and pencil piece of paper and scissors. The first thing you guys are going to do is gather your family and list on the sheet of paper all the steps involved in preparing and eating a bowl of cereal. Easy, right? And then you're going to cut apart this piece of paper so that each of the step-by-step -step directions are separated. And then you guys are going to mix up the pieces of paper and line them up from left to right. And then you guys are going to look at the steps and turn them over one by one and talk about how things would turn out if you try to follow the steps of putting together a bowl of cereal in that order and then discuss why it's important to follow instructions exactly and why it's important to obey God's commands. This will be a fun way to engage your children and actively get to ask them questions about the importance of following directions in a way that they can see. And your second activity is called spoon chase and all you're going to need is two spoons and a blindfold. The first thing you guys are going to do is gather your family. Blindfold someone and explain that he or she will try to capture the two spoons. Tap the spoons together to lead the blindfolded person towards you. And then pass the spoons around, giving each person the chance to tap them together to lead the blindfolded person. And let the blindfolded person capture the spoons when they get back to you. Repeat the game until everyone has had a chance to be blindfolded. Discuss what it's like to listen to God and to follow Him by obeying. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your time as a family, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.